The view in Russia. How safe is Mr. Putin? Does the Russian military agree with his actions? Do the Russian people even? What's the true scale of domestic dissent and how could it alter the course of this war? Well, let's speak to former senior military intelligence officer Philip, Philip Ingram, who uh, is joining me now. Welcome to the programme, Philip. Um, we've seen a lot of images in Russia, in Russian cities, of protesters against this war. Now, I'm conscious that we're in sort of positive feedback bubbles on social media in this country. We're likely to share things that uh, conform to our worldview. In your opinion, how real is dissent in Russia? Well, I think that's a difficult question. The Russian people are not getting the same picture that we're getting. Um, the longer their action into Ukraine goes on, the more that is going to start to change. And that's why we're starting to see the dissent coming out in the streets, because Vladimir Putin is going to have to explain away um, uh, how the sanctions are impacting and why they're there. Um, and that's not a message that's coming across from uh, Russian TV and other Russian media outlets. And there's only limited access for people out into uh, the wider worldwide media. So they're getting fed what Putin wants them to hear. Um, and that's why we're not seeing mass protests on the street. The other reason is that um, if people go out and protest, uh, they tend to get arrested very quickly and locked away. If senior decision makers uh, tend to protest or senior officials tend to protest, um, uh, historically they've been taking up window cleaning jobs from the ninth floor and the windows have been wide open. It's a, well, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a terrible situation there. I wonder, aside from those on the streets, aside from the Russian public who may be feeling it in their wallets with inflation as it is, with interest rates as they are, with the potential slow but real uh, potential for a run on the banks, um, what about those in the military establishment? What about those around Vladimir Putin? And, and a, a figure we've learnt is, is relatively isolated as things stand. Um, the, the military establishment are very loyal to their commanders and, and they tend to do what they're told um, and they will believe what it is at, at the higher levels what Vladimir Putin is ordering them to do. The, the, the layers are their sen uh, his senior, most senior military commanders and intelligence commanders, but also then on the economic side of things, you've got the oligarchs have probably got more power over uh, Putin's support base than anyone else. Mm. Um, you put the two of them together, and if you get a little group of people who are properly understand the hurt that's happening to Russia, um, they might hopefully um, try and have some form of Kremlin coup. That's the only way, I think, to solve this problem um, quickly. Mm. Um, otherwise, and I, and I suppose that's why... ...time where Russia is going to continue to abuse its position. And I suppose that's why Western sanctions are focusing on those key power players around Mr Putin. I'm afraid that's all we have time for in this conversation. But Philip Ingram, thank you for joining us.